Have you heard of Coca-Cola? Of course you have. Don't be ridiculous. Coca-Cola has such a strong relationship and following with their customers, and it's for good reason. From the loyalty of the Coke Rewards program to the emotional appeal of the legacy of that infamous Christmas advertising, Coke has made great efforts to provoke happiness out of their customers, and it seems to be making all the difference. Coca-Cola is just one example of a very personal and relational approach to marketing. There's a technical name for this kind of interaction. It's called Relationship Management Theory. So what is relationship management? Investopedia.com defines it as a strategy employed by an organization in which a continuous level of engagement is maintained between an organization and its audience. Relationship management can be between a business and its customers and between a business and other businesses. Effectively managing organizational relationships around common interests and shared goals over time results in a mutual understanding and benefit for interacting organizations and publics. To put it simply, relationship management is about trust, customer satisfaction, personal interactions, and catering to the individual. It's about successful relationships, like the kind that every member of society participates in on a daily basis. Friends, family, co-workers, classmates, it's all relational. Tell me more, you say? Well, in order for an organization to achieve its goals, building long-term positive relationships with strategic publics is important. The strategy moves from public relation practices away from manipulating public through communication messages. Public relations use different methods to develop new relationships with publics and to deal with the stresses and conflicts that occur in all relationships. Practitioners cannot expect to build lasting relationships by adopting a one-size-fits-all orientation when communicating with key public members. The strategy? To use communication as a tool to build mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and key publics. Understanding relationship management theory is crucial for effective PR. Focus moves from focus of communication to relationships, and problems can be addressed individually and specifically instead of never making considerations beyond the big picture. Companies use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms to communicate one-on-one -on -one with their customers. Not only does this tactic benefit the possibly disgruntled person, but also because the problem gets solved on such a public platform, it is mutually beneficial. The issue is resolved, the customer is no longer disgruntled, and the entire internet can see what great customer service the company has. They can even spread the news if they want to. Companies banter between friends with other companies, with customers, and with enemies, all bringing attention generally happy feelings, familiarity, and name recognition to their products. To conclude our little talk, relationship management theory evaluates success based on relational and behavioral outcomes rather than communication outputs. We hope this clears things up for you a little bit and makes all this easier to understand. We get it, sometimes college is hard. We're here to help.